Hey, you're stuck in traffic. We'll go on a couple minute riff on IT and IT security. Today, looking at the very vital importance of run books. All right, if you're cooking at home, maybe you don't need a recipe, especially if it's only for you. Um, if you're a excellent gourmet foodie, you probably like to improvise on the fly. As a matter of fact, I find uh, the more talent someone has, there's sort of like a bell curve. Over here, they want the recipes, and over there, they want the recipes, and in the middle, not so much. Senior people usually don't want to be told point by point what to do, right? You just want to go in and do the work because you know what's going on, the documentation will always slow you down. But, of course, checklists are vital to make sure you don't miss anything, and of course, any good uh, IT security team is basically built an apprentice model where the junior people are following those checklists and are growing their skills up and so on and so forth. So the tip to you, if you don't have one already, start creating run books. These run books should be for specific actions that a security operations team takes, right? So here's a particular threat, here's our response. It's very similar to business continuity and disaster recovery where you have a scenario, right? A tree falls in the forest. Uh, you have a strategy, we will avoid trees falling on us. <laughs> and you have some procedures. Here's where we're gonna walk so the tree falls in the forest, it doesn't hit us. And hopefully we're not around and hopefully we don't hear it. You create these scenarios and you detail out step by step the actions that your team is gonna take, junior people on up, to resolve the problem. Now run books can be very strategic in three main ways. One, the run book can be very strategic in codifying the expert knowledge, like that recipe, right, of the very best of the best in a checklist and preventing the experts, or hopefully guiding the experts, from forgetting to do certain things. Think of every single checklist and every single airplane you've ever flown ever, right? They have their pre-flight checklist. Same exact thought. So one, helps the smartest of the smart. Two, a good run book can help the junior folks, again, by building that apprentice model. Here's everything we want you to know. Here's everything you need to learn. Here is what you need to do step by step. This is paint by numbers. This is blue apron uh, for cooking. This is you getting your junior people up and skilled quickly such that you can have that town pipeline. Someone tells me they have a skill shortage. What they're really telling me is they don't have good documentation. Number three. Metrics, metrics, metrics. By having a perceived plan in place and having that plan explicit and documented, you can begin to wrap metrics around. How often do we have to execute that plan? Do we have the right run book? Are we doing things outside the plan? If so, how often does that happen? What's the time to execute? All these metrics allow you to use run books as a lens, a sliding lens that slides and focuses in on where the real attacks are, where the real work is, and then optimizes how quickly you can respond. Because at the end of the day, information security is all about time. The quicker you are, the quicker the bad guy are, the bad guy is, <laughs> determines who's gonna win, right? It's all about speed. So, build a run book. No one wants to do it. Why? We're too busy. Okay, fine. But you're never gonna not be too busy until you have ways to not be busy. That's it for me. What do you think? Have you seen good run books? Uh, where are we strong? Where are we weak? Hit me up in comments or on social media. Cheers.